guys, welcome to Dig Mandarin. I'm Cecilia, and today we will talk about the differences between bu and mei. Well, firstly, let's catch the outline about this video. Well, we will talk about the differences between bu and mei from three aspects. First, about meaning. Second, about tense. The last part is about position. Let's look at the first part meaning. In this part, we should know that bu and may their birth adverb in English can be no or not. Well, specifically speaking, bu often negate affect, quality, state, or a subjective wish. It stresses subjective. For example, 我不认识你, I don't know you. Well, in this sentence, the verb 认识 to know, it sounds subjective, right? And the whole sentence, I don't know you. It also depends on personal subjective wish. Well, however, may often negate a situation or a change or to clarify that something hasn't happened or didn't happen. So it stresses objective. For example, 我昨天没去工作 I didn't go to work yesterday. So this sentence is expresses something hasn't happened. So we use may to clarify it. Let's move to the second part, tense. In this part, firstly we should know that book can be used in all tenses, present, past, or future tense. However, may only be used in past or present tense, can't be used in future tense. For example, let's look at some sentences with bu. First one, 我现在不想去超市. I don't want to go to the supermarket now. So it's about present. Next, 我昨天不吃晚饭是因为我很忙. I didn't have dinner yesterday because I was pretty busy. So it's about past. Next one. 以后上课我不会再迟到了. I won't be late again during class time in the future. So it's about future tense. Now it's about sentences with the may. First one. 我昨天没看电影. I didn't watch movie yesterday, so it's about past. Next one. 他们今天没来上课. They haven't taken the classes today, so it's about present. The last one. 我明天没去公园. I won't go to the park tomorrow. It's wrong. Why? Well, because I told you before, this sentence is about future tense, but may cannot be used in future tense. Finally, come to the position part. In this part, firstly, we will talk about bu and may can be put before the predicate, or specifically speaking, bu and may can be put before the verb. For example, 我不去爬山, I don't go to climb, or 他没来学校，因为他病了。He hasn't come to school because he was ill. Well, bu can also be put before an adjective to describe the state of the quality. For example, 现在不冷。It is not cold now. So it's about the state of the temperature. Well, may can also be put before an adjective but it is used to negate a change of state. For example, 三天过去了,他的感冒还没好。He hasn't recovered from his cold after three days. So this sentence we use may to negate a change of state. Well, second part about position, we will talk about book can be put before the auxiliary words. Well, this video we just focus on the elementary level. So in the elementary level, you have already learned these four auxiliary words. 能, 会, 可以, 想, right? 
Okay, bu can be put before all of these four words. However, alinan can also be negated with may. Well, for example, 我不能去超市 I can't go to the supermarket. Next, 我不会说汉语 I can't speak Chinese. Well, next, 你们不可以在图书馆说话 You can't talk in the library. Well, last one about may. 我没能参加考试 I can't take the test because I was late. The last part of a position, let's focus on some special sentences. In shi sentence, we only use bu to negate. For example, 我不是学生, I'm not a student. Well, in you sentence, we only use mei to negate. For example, 他没有书, he doesn't have book. Have you got it? So, it's practice time. In this part, you should use bu or mei to fill in the blanks. Well, firstly, I really recommend you to pause this video and do them by yourself first and then check the answers with me together. Okay, so now let's do it. Well, first one, we use bu, yes. 我一般不在家学习 Generally speaking, I don't study at home. Well, this sentence is about a general state, so we use bu to negate. Well, next one we use mei, yes. 他前天没写作业 He didn't do his homework the day before yesterday. So, this sentence is about a situation that hasn't happened. So, we use mei to clarify it. Well, next one we use yes, bu. 妈妈不喜欢我的新衣服 My mom dislikes my new clothes So, this sentence is about a subjective wish So we use bu to negate Next one Yeah, 没,寒假过去了 The winter holiday has gone Your hands haven't recovered yet So, this sentence we use may to negate a change of state. Oh, next one we use 不 他的声音不大,很小 His voice isn't high but very low. So this one is about a fact and a quality. So we use 不 to negate. Well, the next one in 是 sentence we use 不 Yes. 他不是我哥哥 He isn't my brother Well, the last one in your sentence we use 没 书包里没有书 There is no book in the school bag Let's make a quick review about the content we have learned today So, in this video, we talk about the differences between 不 and 没 from three aspects First one, about meaning Second, about tense. The last part, about position. In the first part, we should know that bu often negate a fact, quality, state, or a subjective wish. It stresses subjective. However, may often negate a situation or a change or to clarify that something hasn't happened or didn't happen. So it stresses objective. Well, in tense part, we should know that bu can be used in all tenses, past, present, and future tense. However, may can only be used in past or present tense. The last part about position, specifically speaking, bu and may can be both put before the predicate. Well, bu can also be put all the four auxiliary words. Well, only none can also be negated with may. Last part about position, we focus on some special sentences. In shi sentence, we only use bu to negate. 
However, in your sentence, we only use may to negate. So that's all for today. So have you got it? See you next time. See ya.